In DNA, guanine only pairs with cytosine and thymine only pairs with adenine. This is complementary base pairing. Complementary base pairing allows for an exact copy of DNA to be created during DNA replication. In that process, the parental strands of the original piece of DNA are first separated. Complementary base pairing then takes place to add the complementary base to the parental strand, forming a new strand of DNA. When this is done on both of the parental strands, you end up now with two pieces of DNA. Complementary base pairing is also used in gene expression. A gene is a segment of DNA that is used to code for a protein, and a protein is formed of monomers known as amino acids. In order for this protein to be formed, these amino acids are coded for by three bases on DNA. Complementary base pairing occurs with these bases on DNA to form a copy of it called RNA. The three bases on RNA are known as a codon, and these code for one amino acid. Now, of course, a piece of DNA is many, many more bases long than just three bases. So ultimately, you can code for a chain of amino acids, and this produces a protein. When the bases on DNA are copied using complementary base pairing to form RNA, which then codes for the amino acids in a protein, this is known as gene expression. You will learn a lot more about gene expression when you study protein synthesis.